What's up guys, and today we got flashback Ryan Kerrigan, 94 overall, pass rush and edge setter chemistry. Now once he gets on the field, or as soon as he gets in your lineup, the pass rush chemistry kicks in. 6 foot 4, 84 speed, 89 strength, 93 play work, 91 hit power, 93 pursuit, 89 tackle, 88 excel, and 90 block shit. Now, he does also have a 95 uh, power move because of that uh, chemistry boost. So. I definitely, you know, had high expectations for him because, you know, those stats are very similar to someone like Von Miller and Khalil Mack. Unfortunately, it just really wasn't, you know, as consistent. Of course, as you can see here, he had his moments, but it really wasn't anything that really blew me away. So compared to someone like Von Miller or a uh, Khalil Mack, those guys are by far much better pass rushers. But even though he's going up against top tier guys, still, you know, that's really no excuse. I mean. That might have been, you know, a decent excuse a few months ago, but now, you know, all these great players coming out, man, it's just really no, especially for his price. So, in my opinion, pass rushing really wasn't that great. And the same could be said for the zone. I mean, he, he did get one fumble, which was impressive, but in terms of zone coverage, there were a few times where the uh, quarterback would throw the ball right in front of him, and you would think that he would jump up and swat the ball or pick it off, but instead he would just run towards the sideline and let it just fly right over his head and it wasn't even like a high pass or anything so that kind of stuff was a little you know um disappointing but in terms of the uh, simple coverages like flats and whatnot i mean he, he he did okay there so as you can see here once again just decent with zone coverage but where he shined the brightest was stopping the run he may not be the best pass rusher he may not be the best zone coverage a linebacker but he definitely showed up almost every single time the ball was run in his direction man and he's very tough to uh, get past no matter who the running back was if he made contact man that that guy was going down so he may not be as good as Von Miller and a uh, Cleo Mack with pass rushing but believe me man the boy can definitely stuff the run no doubt so all in all guys a great run stopping linebacker and who he reminded me of actually was the legend linebacker Kevin Green because both of these guys are not the best pass rushers they're not the best zone cover linebackers, but man, can they stop the run. So that's exactly who he reminded me of. And as far as him being worth between 300 and 400,000, obviously, in my opinion, I don't think he's worth that much. But I mean, if you got the coins and you want them and he fits your chemistry, the uh, pass rush and edge setter chemistry, I mean, I guess go for it. But honestly, I would say pass on him for now, at least until his price drops. But anyways, guys, as far as my next review, it's going to be the flashback with Sean McCoy. That one should be dropping tonight. And on defense, it's going to be the uh, ghost, Leonard Williams. But anyways, guys, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to like the spread awareness, comment to voice your opinion, and subscribe so you will be up to date with the content when it drops. I'll see you boys later. Peace.